Private yachts can be the ultimate in island adventure. You can enjoy views like this and experience hidden treasures like this. But once in a while, you encounter the power of nature and end up fearing for your family's safety. Today was a day where we were reminded that exploration doesn't come without risks and that it's ultimately up to us to decide what's smart and what's foolish. Good morning from Staniel Key. I just put my boiling water on to use the French press again and I couldn't get over how beautiful the sunrise is. This is stunning. The best thing about the boat is waking up, coming up and seeing the sunrises here in the Exumas. So beautiful. Today is effectively our last day. We've got about, mm. oh what, 24 hours, 25 hours or so left because yeah. tomorrow morning uh, everything comes to an end. Yep, our last full day and then we have to be back by 10 a.m. tomorrow. And we don't know where we're going to end up tonight. Uh, that is in terms of how far back up we'll get toward Nassau. We still have a number of things that we want to do today that we're going to do today, seeing, you know, maybe Rachel's bubble bath. Um, the aquarium. What's the James Bond thing called? The grotto. Garage. Yeah, so we might try and do the grotto first thing in the morning and then go back to Compass Key. That's where we did the swimming with sharks because there's a ton of stuff in that area. But he wanted to save things for us to hit on the way back, which I think is smart. Okay, so Brooklyn, it's like swimming through an underground tunnel. And honestly, I think mommy's going to struggle more than you are. I Seriously. I'm excited. What we're talking about is uh, the grotto. It's high tide right now. So we actually have to swim under, kind of through a tunnel, underwater tunnel, to get into the grotto. Which and, is a cave? Which is a cave. Well, it's a grotto. A grotto, okay, if you don't know what a grotto is, a grotto is kind of like kind a, of a, cheese, a yeah. cave that's a pool, like a swimming pool in a cave. Um, and Colt's gonna do phenomenal. Reagan's gonna be great. Um, Captain Alex will be fine. Phil's gonna be just fine. Um, Brooklyn, she's gonna she's gonna do better than me, I think. I worry about panicking a little bit, um, being underwater and holding my breath because I have lung issues and I cannot hold my breath very long. So I'm a little bit nervous about it, but Alex says that we can kind of see it and visualize it before we decide to go and do it. Uh, plus, I'm I'm open to try. I'm open to challenge myself. So, <laughs> let's go. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. We could have just snorkeled our way over here. Didn't even need the dinghy. As much as we love being on the water, this day was a reminder of how dangerous and unpredictable Mother Nature can be. Woo! Current is crazy. Yeah. We had no idea how challenging this little excursion was going to be until we entered the water and felt the powerful current. What's up with Brooklyn? <laughs> It was so strong that it quickly pushed us onto the sharp rocks surrounding the grotto entrance, which itself turned out to be almost completely blocked by the high tide. Arms and legs were getting scraped and one of Reagan's new scuba fins was ripped from her foot. Even with a family of strong swimmers, the idea of being flushed into a hidden cave by this strong water was suddenly pretty scary. Within seconds, the decision was made that to continue this swim was just too risky. But returning to our anchored dinghy would be easier said than done. The heavy current that had carried us to this point was now determined to fight a return. Only Reagan made it to the dinghy. The rest of us turned back to be further battered against the jagged formations as we scrambled for a plan. All right, current was too strong, but it's also too strong to get back to the boat. Reagan made it back. Just now. We are stuck on these razor sharp rocks. No other boats were aware of our situation or within shouting distance. If anyone got pushed off this outcrop, it would be a half mile ride through the channel and into the Atlantic. I'm sorry, honey. You okay? Huh? She's on the rocks over there. He's climbing across. 
so that he can get back to the boat. We tried to climb out of the frigid current and higher onto the rocks in an attempt to escape the constant thrashing that was scraping and cutting everyone. Come back over here to my left side. Captain Alex was traversing the rock face in an attempt to reach a position where he could swim across to reach Reagan. This is an absolute disaster. I was just terrified. Brooklyn was terrified. We were getting sucked in by that current so hard. Reagan is a phenomenal swimmer. She has one fin, and she made it to the beach, and none of us could. Captain Alex is, looks like he's about ready to uh, make the plunge. Yeah. He's trying to swim he, to the dinghy. He had to get uh, he had to get away from the current. It's so strong, and it's so, it was hard for for it to not suck us into the grotto and these rocks. My God, it hurts. Captain Alex is about 10 feet from the boat. Uh oh, he's slowing down. Oh, she's, Reagan's trying to throw him a rope, but he's going back. Didn't make it. Here. You and Reagan could not yes. have survived that without you and Reagan. That was a bit scary. Um, I, I felt fine until we got on the sport now, and now I feel a little shaken up over it. <laughs> Brooklyn was super scared. Um, but yeah, I. Kids bounce back. Hey, Brooklyn. Struggling. What music did you put on for us, honey? Uh, pop. Pop? Yeah, that's what I said. Right. Right. Let's pop. Yeah, um, yeah, the current was way strong. I can't believe what just happened. Yeah. That was ridiculous. You seemed pretty pretty calm, though. You were good I when mean, you were on the rock. I knew that we would be fine. We were just stuck there for a minute because we could get the anchor up, and I knew we would be fine. So yeah, once we were on the rocks. I just stayed calm. And this is the hero of the hour. We might not have been saved at all if Reagan <laughs> didn't get to the boat first. <laughs> That was pretty incredible. Thank you. Life's adventures, right guys? We live to tell another story. Can you see it? Is there a mark? <laughs> there yeah, there's a mark. And on his arm. Wow, you got scratched up, <laughs> babe. Okay, so when we got there, like we were on the rocks and then we tried to swim back to the boat. I swam and I swam and I went like this low. And I knew it would have taken so, so long to get to the boat because of the current. So I just went back and waited with mom because I saw that she was struggling. So I went back to her to just make sure that everything was fine. Really? And so, really? And so I hung on to that rock. You had a choice. And I was gonna try, and I thought about trying again. <laughs> Sorry baby, you're just my little, my little guy. I just love you so much. <laughs> and I thought about trying again. 
but I thought about how I should I should wait for like instructions on what we should do because this could get really serious. After the adrenaline and tears of this scare had cleared, we were geared up for a more carefree activity, exploring Rachel's bubble bath. The entrance to Rachel's bubble bath is right there, right behind us. And as far as I understand, it's where the tides um, meet and create this bubbling effect. And uh, we're going to find out what it's really all about in just a bit. We're going to get in the dinghy and much calmer waters this time. And my son won't have to try and go rescue his mom. little bit of a hike. We're not there yet. Captain Alex, Colt, and Reagan are way ahead of us. A stone throwing lesson. Rachel's bubble bath is known as one of the best swimming holes in the Bahamas. It's a calm lagoon only separated from the sea by a thin bar of rock. When the waves come crashing over the rocks, it stirs up the calm waters and creates a bubbling effect. Brooklyn is really enjoying the bubble bath and the water. Cole and Reagan are more interested in the tide pool and some of the sea creatures they're finding. We gotta head out. I think we're going to a pirate cave next. been confirmed that we are headed back to the boat and then straight away to Pirate's Cave. Are you gonna subscribe? That was all you, okay? He had nothing to do with that. We're heading inside this via the bottom. So this is kind of like when we did the hidden beach thing where there's just a tiny little sliver of cave that we have to swim through Marietta? to get to the inside. Was it the Marietta? Yeah. It's time to get in. <laughs> All right, come over, guys. Most of the rocks in here, it's really cool because it's totally smooth, which goes against what I was just saying when I was bad mouthing the Exumas and all of their rocks. But this stuff is so smooth and red, it looks like that fake rock they build at aquariums and zoos and everything in the enclosures. It's like, I don't know, like you're walking on the moon or something. It's totally unusual for what we've seen around this area. And it's a whole lot easier to walk on than that other stuff. We're moving to the aquarium. Off to the next place. Just got to a spot to anchor near the aquarium and we're gonna head over there in just a minute. And it's somewhere behind me here. 
We are taking these bagels with us for fish food. I hope they like cinnamon raisin. Do you like cinnamon raisin bagels? I like cinnamon raisin bagels. No, you do? I'll, I'll, I'll Instead of the fish? Wait, I'll no. My mask Come back here. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? No. I don't think so. Oh, wait, yeah. The aquarium offers some of the best snorkeling in the Exumas. At 15 feet deep, you'll see schools of yellowtail, parrotfish, and grouper, as well as a variety of coral, sea fans, and sponges. It's one of the island's favorite playgrounds. Then we're going to try to cross, which means go from the Exumas to NASA. So we're going to see how much progress we can make, because otherwise if we don't cross tonight, we're going to get up very, very early in the morning, set sail at about 5 a.m. and cross in the morning. We have to have this boat back by 10 a.m. So let's see how much progress we can make today. Show me. Brooklyn. It's a filming it anyway. <laughs> it doesn't look like we're going to make it all the way to Nassau tonight. We actually have a little bit of weather coming up ahead. Also, we're just not making great times. We made it to Allen's Key and we are parking it. Parking it right here for the night. Not a bad view. Gorgeous. But we're going to have to do the rest of our journey in the morning. We're going to just chill, have some dinner, and spend the rest of the night in Alan's Key. This day got really scary, but it ended on a good note. We still have lots of adventures coming your way, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss a single episode. We're the Lockwoods, a family of five with five careers, three schools, and infinite passion for adventure. So we redesigned our business and studies around a lifestyle of freedom and world travel. Join us on our journey.